Hey guys, it's the Kellys. I'm Lauren and this is Brian and today we are going to give you all of the essentials that you need to bring on your tropical or beach trip from Amazon. And if you guys are subscribed to our channel, you know our motto is to travel often, pack well, we're here to help. And that's what we're going to do today to help you with your beach trip or tropical vacation. Everything we are going to mention in this video is going to have a link down below in the description box for you to be able to purchase. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more Amazon Essential videos to help you bring the best items on your trips, wherever you may be going. So subscribe. Okay, let's get into it. We have a whole table full of stuff and we're going to show you all of it. Bring a hat. Bring a hat, keep the sun out of your eyes. Your sun is. And not only now is your head protected, but your eyes are protected just as well and you look really cool. Just like us. So let's say you're going to plan on walking around a lot or even going into the water. You want to bring your gold bond friction. Now you're probably wondering well, what good would that do? As a larger gentleman, things rub. And then it chafes and then it hurts. Especially if you're wet, this will you're save gonna your need life. This. It's just like a deodorant stick. It goes where you need it. One of the things that I like to bring is a little packable beach tote. So it packs up super tiny like this, but then you can unzip it and it becomes a nice full size tote. I don't want to unzip it. <laughs> You're going to have to. Like this. It's perfect. I just used it in Puerto Rico. Absolute essential for going on a tropical trip. Another item I like to bring is a waterproof speaker. Now, it doesn't have to be this exact waterproof speaker, but when things are splishing and splashing, you want to make sure if you got tunes on that they're not going to get damaged. And speakers are fun to have by the pool or by the beach, as long as you're not disrupting other people, because that's a pet peeve of mine. Yeah, be respectful. Something that I love to have and certainly isn't necessary, but makes your life a lot easier, are these kind of little clips to keep your towel on your sunbathing chair so that it doesn't keep falling down. And they're super easy to pack because they're just teeny tiny and these ones are dolphins. It doesn't fit my head. It fits mine, but it's very tight. But you want to <laughs> bring your cockles. We have just the better general... <laughs> you are, right? Next, you're going to want to bring your goggles. Now, these are just your basic goggles, but you can bring your snorkels too or your full face mask. Basically, uh, during COVID, now a lot of places aren't giving you them, so you might want to bring your own. But one thing I really want to do are those big full face ones. A friend of mine just used them in Jamaica and she says they're awesome. We're so. going to look into those. <laughs> All right, so next I like to have some sort of waterproof pouch so that when I take my wet bathing suit off, it is lined in here to be able to put in. And then this just has another little area to keep all of my stuff. So this is what I'm going to put into my bag so that all of my essentials don't get wet, especially maybe if I'm on a boat or something. Also on that note, I have another little waterproof pouch like this that is kind of like a little fanny pack. So that has been very helpful in my travels before. And an actual dry bag where you can put all of your belongings, you roll it down, you lock it, and all of your items cannot get wet. This can even go actually in the water and your stuff won't get wet. So this has been very helpful. I hope you guys are finding these tips helpful and I hope that you have already put a few of these items in your Amazon cart. If so, thank you, it supports us and you can also support us by subscribing to our channel. Another item you're gonna wanna get is a GoPro. This is the GoPro 10, it's waterproof, it can go underwater, it's the best action camera you can get for those really awesome underwater shots. And if this isn't necessarily in your budget, you can get this phone case here that's waterproof. Lauren just took it with her to Puerto Rico underwater and she sent me pictures and I was like, are you using your phone? She's like, yeah, I got this pouch. It worked perfectly. One thing I like to bring with me sometimes is a towel that is actually sandproof. And this towel is big enough to wrap around my body, maybe not big enough to wrap around Brian's body. <laughs> Thanks. 
but it is sandproof and packs up super teeny tiny so you can bring it with you and you're not going to bring sand everywhere and it is a quick dry towel as well one of my must-have items is this kindle paperwhite it's one of the newer generations it's waterproof i have tested it out a hundred percent i don't like to go dunking my kindle underwater just to do it but if you're on the beach this is probably a much safer option than a lot of other e-readers out there i highly recommend it it's easy to see even in the sun you can adjust the brightness or dim it or change the background colors it's very easy to read and i highly recommend it to all my book readers out there and it's especially better than bringing paper books with you which i tend to prefer but it takes up a lot less room and you know that we are very light packers here on this channel I like to recommend a ton of travel sunscreen. You can either bring all of these are travel size or when you get to your destination because hopefully you've done a carry-on bag just grab one big large one but this is absolutely necessary especially if you're going to an area where the sun is a lot stronger than where it is at home. Do not underestimate the sun. I barely get a sunburn but when I go to the Caribbean I always sunburn so it's going to be very helpful another item that i like to bring with me is some type of bottle that keeps my water cold there's nothing more i hate being on the beach and having an ice cold water and then 20 minutes later it's hotter than room temperature or burning going down so literally boiling water and it can happen as soon as five minutes so having something like that is definitely very helpful. Very helpful. It doesn't necessarily need to be this big. This is 24 ounces, but you want something to keep your drinks cool. All right, so that is it for our beach and tropical packing essentials from Amazon. We have linked everything down below so that you guys can grab them too. Let us know if there's any other essential that you like to bring when you go to a tropical destination. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment on this video, especially if you found these tips helpful. We are here to help you travel often and pack well. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. See you guys. Bye.